One of the considerations to make when buying a motorcycle is the difference between air-cooled vs liquid-cooled motorcycle engines. Depending on where and how you plan on riding, a motorcycle's air or liquid cooling may play a large part in your decision to buy and how much you'll appreciate your machine. Typically speaking, high-performance motorcycles tend to be liquid-cooled. Watch the video to find out the air-cooled vs liquid-cooled motorcycle engines in detail. Air-cooled and liquid-cooled motorcycles are two types of engine cooling systems that are commonly used in motorcycles. Air-cooled engines rely on the flow of air to dissipate the heat generated by the engine. The engine is typically surrounded by fins, which increase the surface area and promote the transfer of heat to the air. This type of engine cooling system is simple, lightweight, and requires less maintenance compared to liquid-cooled systems. However, air-cooled engines tend to run hotter and may overheat in hot weather or heavy traffic. Liquid-cooled engines use a liquid coolant, usually a mixture of water and ethylene glycol, which circulates through the engine block, absorbing heat from the engine and carrying it away to a radiator where the heat is dissipated. This type of engine cooling system is more efficient and consistent than air-cooled systems, allowing the engine to maintain a stable temperature in a wide range of conditions. However, liquid-cooled systems are heavier, more complex, and require more maintenance than air-cooled systems. Air-cooled motorcycle engines Air-cooled engines have been used in motorcycles for many decades and are still commonly found in cruiser-style motorcycles and some smaller displacement bikes. Air-cooled engines tend to be simpler and lighter, as they do not require a radiator, water pump, or other components associated with liquid cooling systems. This can make the motorcycle itself lighter and easier to handle. Air-cooled engines can be more cost-effective, as they require fewer components and less maintenance. They are also typically easier to work on, as there are fewer components to disassemble when making repairs or adjustments. Air-cooled engines tend to be louder than liquid-cooled engines, as the fins surrounding the engine block can generate noise as air passes over them. One disadvantage of air-cooled engines is that they may be more prone to overheating in hot weather or in heavy traffic, as they rely on the flow of air over the engine to dissipate heat. In some cases, manufacturers may need to limit the power output of an air-cooled engine to prevent overheating. Liquid-cooled motorcycle engines Liquid-cooled engines are more common in sport and touring motorcycles, as well as in larger displacement bikes that generate more heat. Liquid-cooled engines use a coolant that is circulated through the engine block and other components to absorb heat and carry it away to a radiator, where the heat is dissipated into the air. This allows for more efficient and consistent cooling than air-cooled engines. Liquid-cooled engines tend to be quieter than air-cooled engines, as the liquid coolant absorbs noise as it circulates through the engine block. Liquid-cooled engines are more complex and can be heavier than air-cooled engines, as they require a radiator, water pump, and other components. This can make the motorcycle itself heavier and more cumbersome to handle. Liquid-cooled engines require more maintenance than air-cooled engines, as the coolant must be regularly checked and changed to prevent corrosion or other damage to the engine block or other components. In addition, the liquid cooling system may be more prone to leaks or other issues than an air-cooled system. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.